GM is celebrating the grand opening of Factory Zero, designed to build electric vehicles. Welcome to Text Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us is Assistant Plant Director at Factory Zero, Kathy Steelgrave. Thanks for taking the time, Kathy. No problem, Fred. Thank you for having me. Well, congratulations are in order here. I mean, this was announced, I guess, last year, early last year, that GM was going to refurbish the Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Plant, a storied plant, really, to create Factory Zero. So tell us about this. What went into it? Yeah. Detroit Hamtramck was built in 1985, and it's built on the border of Hamtramck, which is a, a very close suburb of Detroit in the, the city of Detroit, actually. Um, it's a historic site. There were other auto um, assembly plants on this site prior, prior to us building here. Um, many of the people who work here were local You know, when the plant was built, and their legacy employees were the children of the original people that worked here before. And the plant was slated to close in 2019. But as you mentioned, uh, we were given life uh, to be the first all electric plant for General Motors. So once the, the last internal combustion engine vehicle um, was out of the, the various departments in the plant, so we have a body shop, paint shop, and then General Assembly, as soon as that last vehicle was built, deconstruction and uh, decommissioning of that equipment happened before the vehicle had even completely left the building. Since then, it's been a whirlwind of um, demolition, then additions to the building, and installation of new equipment and construction within the site to get us where we are today. And along with that announcement, GM said the, the investment was something like $2.2 billion. Yes. The yeah, the B. Mm -hmm. So give us it's, a... Give us a taste of what's going to be coming out of this new Hamtramck plant, uh, Factory Zero, we'll say now. Yeah, we're uh, currently building our pre-production units for the Hummer truck. We're also going to build a, a Hummer SUV. We have the uh, all-electric Chevy Silverado truck that will also be built here. And then we're building the Cruise Origin, which is our autonomous vehicle. All going to be coming out of here. So. The, the work that goes into transforming a plant, I mean, you said demolition. So this is, I guess, take it down to the bones and rebuild kind of thing? Exactly. When, uh, when I joined this plant, I was at a different plant um, less than a year ago. You could stand on one end of the building and still see the wall on the other end of the building. And that's 4.5 million square feet, mind you. So that's a long, expansive way that you could see um, out. And then very quickly and aggressively, we've installed the equipment necessary to build a vehicle, which we, we are able to do today. And all of these new vehicles are gonna be built on what you call the Altium platform. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, the Altium platform is our, our, what we, our strategy for our battery. So um, what makes it different and unique from other batteries is it's the components of it are interchangeable for various sizes of vehicles. In our case, we have one size of res that we call it. We call it a res pack. Um, and another product, a smaller product perhaps, may have a smaller res pack that uses the same technology that can all be made in the same assembly process. Just you know, imagine putting your shoes in a different size shoe box, depending on the size of the shoe. And I guess the, the message here is that the conversion to electric. GM is really pushing forward and pushing fast here. Describe for us what the timeline is looking like from the company's point of view. Um, so we're doing it today. We're building electric vehicles today, and we're just going to build as many as we can as quickly as we can. That's, that's from where I sit, what I'm experiencing. Really, really exciting. So it tell is. us how, how it feels to, to be part of this transformation. I mean, the auto industry has been around for more than 100 years, well over 100 years. So tell me what this feels like there. It is special. Um, the, the people here at this plant that thought that their plant was going to close, they had to go to other GM sites to just work temporarily. And now we were able to call them back. Many of those people are legacy GM employees. So their parents or grandparents also worked for General Motors. Myself, my, my dad and my grandfather both worked for General Motors. Um, 
So when you grow up in a manu manufacturing space, in a manufacturing family, in a manufacturing town, there's things that you're used to. And um, this is, is taking what we're used to and making it so much better with doing things that we knew we should have done all the time. We, we know we should have a world with um, zero crashes if we can help support that a world with zero emissions and a world with zero congestion, which is really what our vehicles are doing. They're supporting that. And uh, when GM decided to to get in here, with, they did it with both feet, yes. full speed, full speed. Yes. Ahead. yes. So once again, congratulations. I know you've got the, the, the big event with the, the president uh, yes. taking part in it and the CEO. So it's going to be very exciting for, for everyone there. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now this. It takes a lot of listening to build a better radio, and that's just what the folks at Sea Crane have done. Bob Crane and his crew, nestled among the rivers and tallest trees in the world in Fortuna, California, have made a habit of listening to their customers, and that's just what they've done in building the CC Skywave SSB, the Swiss Army knife of portable radios. For everyday listening to AM or FM in the yard or patio or on the nightstand, Without having to drain a mobile phone battery, it's a great companion. But it is also a companion equipped for NOAA weather information and alerts that can be life-saving. You can listen to FEMA and Coast Guard transmissions too. Beyond all of that, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. It's compact, easy to take with you, and built to last. The CC SkyWave SSB. Click on the link at textonation.com.